Greetings everybody, Eric's UK here again, RPG Day 2020, day, I've lost track again, day 24, entitled Humour. Um, most RPGs um, are serious games, if we can put it that way. There have, however, been some games which are intentionally humorous or have a funny uh, nature to them. These range from games, now I don't know if any of these are still published or not, but they range from things like Toon, which basically let you play um, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck style Warner Brothers cartoon uh, silliness, you know. Acme ray guns and anvils and things like that. Uh, <laughs> to things like uh, Paranoia, um, which are games which are self-contained but have a, a kind of an odd humour to them. To, to quite a few licensed products um, in the past. Again, I don't think any of these are still published now, but there was a Ghostbusters International. There was Men in Black. Um, probably a couple others if I was to really put my mind to it. I've never quite got on with them. I've never played Toon, to be fair. Um, I've played Paranoia, and it's 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 a very odd one. It's basically set up, you have six characters, they're all clones, in a weird dystopian uh, parody of like 1984. You live in a secret underground bunker run by a, a psychopathic computer, and pretty much 90% of whatever you do will be classed as treason and your clone will be executed. Um, either by uh, the computer, an agent of the computer, or one of your fellow characters. Because um, they're all trying to stay alive, but they won't. Um, it's very odd. Um, and games like Ghostbusters, Men in Black and so forth. Um, the humour's kind of forced. And it's never quite worked for me. Um... For the right people, I guess, they, you know, who can really um, get into that sort of thing, they probably work really well, but for me, no. So, humour generally comes, for me, in role-playing games, out of a little bit of silliness with the players. Um, while I prefer games to have a serious nature, in the past, my chums and I have played RPGs, all right, played them seriously but we've added um a humorous element or silly names or things like that um for a bit of a, a laugh and a bit of a wind down things like that um prime example of this was um and i'm sure somewhere down the past i've uh, i've touched on this in other vids but we had a pendragon campaign where you play arthurian knights it's all very serious, very uh, romantic uh, fantasy sort of thing. But we all ended up with very, very silly names. We played the game seriously, but the names were what made it. Um, so there were things like um, Sir Bo Croat, um, Sir Jekyll Stocking, uh, Sir Vichel Smear. Um, I had a character called um, Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, you know, um, silly little things like that. Um, and just having that made uh, that sense of our sense of humour, which is generally a bit odd and a bit dark, I suppose, um, you know, made that quite well. Um, I've played um, a Judge Dread campaign in the past where there were some very silly names um, Judge Not, Judge Fairly, um, Judge Harshly, things like that. Um, I used to have the old James Bond game from, I want to say, Mayfair Games. Um, and the couple of times I ran that, um, we had things like um, Brook Bond and um, Basildon Bond um, and, and things like that as character names. Um, in general, though, I think uh, humour has its place. And quite often, as long as that works within your group, it's fine. Um, things like those silly names... Uh, worked well for what we wanted at the time even though we preferred more serious games um and if you can get into 
the more comedic games, if that's your cup of tea, then you might find them of suitable use. Um, but for someone that prefers a serious game, 99% of the time, now and again having that silly bit of a laugh um, does sort of uh, reset your buttons a little bit and um, it makes a nice change now and again. You know, you can do the same thing for years and years and years, but every so often you've got to do something just to one wind. And sometimes a bit of a humorous element in a role-playing game works for that. Uh, anyway, stop me waffling. I shall disappear. Uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, in the comments below or your videos out there on this topic. Anyway, until then, take care, guys, and good gaming. Bye.